They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. It's an open book, a road in reverse, a brand new hook. Forget that curse. Rewrite, ignite, restart. Cause it's your life. Oh, we Cause you're a rival, you rebel, you more than. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, I am Raven Queen, daughter of the Evil Queen, and I pledge, um, I... Come on, do it! I... All eyes were on Raven as she faced the most important choice. Really? You're gonna start there at Legacy Day? You know, there's only really room for one narrator here. Start at the beginning, where the whole revel and royal drama began. Oh, fine. Gather round, friends, and let us tell you a story. The story of Ever After High. A high school for the teenage sons and daughters of the most famous fairy tale characters who ever lived. But this year was like no other for the students of Ever After High. Raven's Tale, the story of a rebel. It was the year of Legacy Day, a momentous event where the students pledged to all the magical world to follow the same paths as their fairy tale parents. Which they better do, or else. I'm sorry, who's telling this story? If you don't... Would you two stop fighting? Peas and crackers. Um, who are you talking to? Why, the narrators. Oh, you can't hear him, Raven. Only I can. Okay. <gasps> can I talk now? Mm -hmm. It's just... I'm sick of everyone thinking I'm so evil because my mom was. It's not fair! No one thinks you're evil. Now you're just talking crazy. <laughs> the daughter of the Mad Hatter calls me crazy. <sighs> Would you stop with the worry flurry? Everyone at school loves you. It's Raven Queen! Run! She is evil! Run, everyone! You clever Dormouse. Why, yes, this is a new dress. And so life for Raven was not easy, feeling alone and isolated. As it should be, <laughs> she is destined to be evil. Couldn't go 20 seconds without talking, could you? Hey, Raven, uh, you look Gort. I mean, great. I, I, I don't even know what Gort is. I'd offer you a seat, but I'm evil. To sit here, you'd have to be pretty daring. What? No, Raven, I'm Dex. Dexter Charming. Daring's my brother, sir. Oh, Gord. Raven, how's every enchanted thing? Apple White. Good to see ya. Hey, Daring. I uh, have to warn you don't stare at the teeth. Just got them whitened. There's the bell. Time for good kingdom management. Raven, what's your next class? Uh, history of evil spells. <laughs> that is so perfect for you. Hey, Cerise, how's it going? <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, uh, sorry. I, I have a cold. Free food! That night, as Raven returned to her dorm, she found quite the surprise waiting for her. Hey, Daddy? Welcome home, Roomy. <laughs> Good one, Apple. I'm rooming with Maddie this year. Not anymore. Since you're such an important part of my story, 
you poison me, I fall asleep. The prince wakes you with a kiss, blah, 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 yada, yada, I know. So? So, I asked Headmaster Grimm if we could live together, and he said yes. Isn't that enchanting? Uh. But, but... Oh, 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 you are going to love rooming with me. I'm thoughtful and beautiful, and I sing the most wonderful songs about woodland creatures. <clears throat> oh, the doves love to fly, and the hares love to burrow. Move along, move along. Nothing to see here. And I already decorated your half of the room. <laughs> Isn't it just the evilest? <laughs> I knew you'd love it. This is going to be a long year. <laughs> Which brings us to the rehearsals for the Legacy Day Ceremony. So, when your magical key appears, you insert it gently into the storybook of legends, then stand, shoulders back, and declare your destiny to the world. Have I made myself clear? Headmaster Grimm, but what if... No questions? Good. Now, we're going to practice with this tiny manual of entirely reasonable school rules. <clears throat> hmm. Who will go first? I, Madeline Hatter, pledge to follow the destiny of dear old Dad, the Mad Hatter of Wonderland. When do I drink the tea? Next. I'm Hunter Huntsman, and I pledge to follow my destiny as the next Huntsman. I'll swing my axe bravely and... Really, Pesky? You wanna play that way? Next. I'm, I'm Cedar Wood, and I, I pledge to follow my destiny and be the next Pinocchio. Well, I mean, not the next Pinocchio. <laughs> I mean, actually, I can only tell the truth while I'm in school, but then one day, one day I'm gonna lie. Uh, but does that mean that I'm gonna be like my dad or not like my dad? Next. I'm Raven Queen. And I pledge to follow my destiny as... Um, I have a question. What is it? I was just wondering, I mean, what if I don't want to take the pledge? <gasps> <gasps> what? It's just a question. And here's your answer. If you don't pledge your destiny, your story ceases to exist. Ceases to exist? So then... What happens to me? You will cease to exist. Poof. Now, Raven, continue. But, Mr. Grimm... Poof, poof! Um... I have to go. <laughs> In the vault of lost tales, deep beneath the school, another was listening. Giles Grimm, the brother of the school's headmaster. The raven flies, the clouds, they sing. But what should happen when the tide rolls in? <sighs> what will happen indeed? That's it? That's where you're ending the story? And why I are you not so against these kids? It's my turn to In a faraway land, all eyes were on Apple as she made the most important declaration of her life. I am Apple White, daughter of Snow White, and I am ready to pledge my destiny. Of course, you'd start with Apple always playing favorites. Start at the beginning of the school year. Oh, fine. Gather round, friends, and let us tell you a story. The story Ever After High, a high school for the teenage sons and daughters of the most famous fairy tale characters who ever lived. But this year was like no other for the students of Ever After High. Apple's Tale, the story of a royal. For it is the year of Legacy Day, a momentous event where the students pledge to all the magical world to follow the same paths as their fairy tale parents. I can't believe it. Legacy Day happens this year, and there is just ever so much to do. Totally, right? I mean, this year's after party is gonna be a page ripper. I heard DJ Enchant is gonna- Briar, it's not just about the party. This is destiny, future queen. We can't let anyone post embarrassing pictures of us on my chapter. Hey. 
daughter of Sleeping Beauty. If I'm gonna be catching Z's for a hundred years, I gotta live it up now. <laughs> and come on, no one would post anything bad about you. Everybody loves you. It's Apple Wipe. <laughs> Gorgeous. Can I carry your books? Why, Tiny, aren't you the sweetest little thing? Thank you. See, they love you. Oh, oh, I don't want to miss a minute of our first day. Hi, everybody. Hey, what's up? Howdy. <laughs> hey, Prince Daring. Um, why are you holding your hand over your mouth? Well, you see, I just got my teeth whitened, and Headmaster Grimm said I can't show people because... But your smile is so charming. Well, you know. Ah, my eyes! I can't see! Ah. I'm okay! <laughs> <laughs> Apple? Daring? <laughs> so, any juicy dating details for my mirror cast show? Talk to the mirror. Uh, Blondie, Daring and I are still not a couple. This is high school. We've got forever after to be together. But you two are the perfect couple. Not to this, not to that. You're just right. Come on, Apple. Let's go get some lunch. Charm you later. Oh, oh. And so that night, back in the Ever After dorms, Apple had a surprise waiting for her new roommate. You think Raven's gonna like this? Of course! What future evil queen wouldn't love an evil throne, an evil crown, and an evil haunted mirror? True. But why are you doing this for Raven? Because she's such an important part of my story. When she poisons me, it changes everything. Then the prince can wake me, and I become queen. That's when I get my happily ever after. I need her! Hey, Maddie? Uh, quick, hide! I don't want Raven to know you helped me. I'll go out the window. I've never done that before. <laughs> Welcome home, Rumi! <laughs> Good one, Apple. I'm rooming with Maddie this year. Not anymore. Huh? Man! I am good-looking! <laughs> Daring, how'd you know I was gonna be here? Catching damsels in distress, it's kind of my thing. Well, that was a total rush! Stay here, I'm going again! <laughs> hey, you wanna get a hocus latte? Oh, that sounds magical. I love mine with nutmeg. How do you like yours? Oh, I like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of cream. <laughs> Hey! Hi, Ashlyn! Wanna go on a nature hike later? I haven't been in the woods in days, and it just feels so good to get back to what really matters. I got a shipment here of 300 new shoes for the glass slipper. New shoes? <laughs> Where? <laughs> it's a shoe thing. Well, she is. Cinderella's daughter. Ooh, time for our legacy day rehearsal. I can't wait for everyone to get a glimpse of the queen I am going to become. <laughs> but what Apple didn't know was that Raven Queen had other plans. That would change the world for the better. Or the worse. So, when your magical key appears, you insert it gently into the storybook of legends, then stand shoulders back and declare your destiny to the world. Have I made myself clear? But what if... No questions? Good. Who will go first? Oh, me, me, me. Uh, ooh, ooh. Step right this way, my future queen. I am Apple White, and I pledge to follow my destiny as the next Snow White. Perfect. I know. I... I'm Briar Beauty, and I pledge to follow in my mom's footsteps and sleep for a hundred years. But before I do, I'm gonna live every minute. Oh, speaking of which, my dorm room, Friday night, we're gonna blow the roof off the place. Next. Hey there. Charming. Daring. Charming. I pledge to be just like my old man, King Charming. Brave, good-looking, kind, good-looking, Thoughtful and good looking. Next. I'm Raven Queen, and I pledge to follow my destiny as. Um, I have a question. What is it? I was just wondering, I mean, what if I don't want to take the pledge? <gasps> she has to do it. I mean, if, if she never poisons me, then I'll never fall asleep, and, and I'll never be kissed by my prince, and I'll never become queen, and I'll never. 
Now, Raven, erase that dangerous idea from your head. Continue. I have to go. What? Hey, what oh. are the, oh. the, the rules are oh. the rules. And so Apple took refuge that night in the enchanted forest, wondering what would become of her destiny should Raven not follow hers. <gasps> oh, H Headmaster Grimm? Forgive me for startling you, my dear. I need you to keep an eye on your roommate, Raven. We must follow the paths set out before us. It's the only way to keep our world safe. Please, watch Raven and convince her of this. I know you'll do whatever it takes. I'll... And so, on the grave portent about to befall ever after high... Must you always be so dramatic? Must you always ruin my ominous endings? I mean... You're I, always I taking the for my ending. And so here we are. Legacy Day, where the students of Ever After High sign the storybook of legends, pledging to follow the paths of their fairy tale parents. Or not. Seriously? I'm narrating here. <gasps> Maddie, you have to help me. I don't feel like I can sign the storybook of legends, but I don't want to let everyone down either. And do not forget the whole, if you don't sign, your story disappears, poof, and you may vanish into oblivion. <gasps> that's a thing you know, and it's got to hurt. But we don't know if that's true. But what if it is? But what if it's not? But what if it is? You're not helping. Wait a tick. I think I know who can help. No, but see, I am totally a royal. <gasps> Raven! There you are. We have to talk. Ma uh, come back! Apple, oh, where are you going? I have to convince Raven to sign the book. My destiny depends on it. <gasps> Raven? If anyone knows the truth about the storybook of legends, it's Giles Grimm. Feathers and friends, together, alone. He's speaking riddlish. He was cursed with a babble spell. Makes him sound, you know, cuckoo. He says, it's nice to have us here. Ask him about the book. If I don't sign, am I really gonna uh, disappear? Mm -hmm. Can the musical chair change its tone when the tablet of granite is inscribed with a bow? Hmm. The king who sings with pages of sky fears too much the dawn that rises with lies. He says there's something wrong with the book. And then if you don't sign, your story will... What? What? Oh, sorry. If you don't sign, your story will continue. Oh, really? Oh, that's great. I think. Huh? You think? Hey, riddle-ish is not an exact language. At last, it was Legacy Day. Next we have Apple Quiet. I am Apple White, daughter of Snow White, and I am ready to pledge my destiny. Next, Raven Queen. I am Raven Queen, daughter of the evil queen. And I pledge... Well, I... Come on, do it!
Raven Queen. And I'm going to write my own destiny. My happily ever after starts now. I didn't disappear! How could you be so... so selfish? <laughs> I'm sorry, Apple, but I... Just... Oh. Oh. I didn't know I could do that. I'm sorry, Apple, but I don't want anyone to tell me who to be. I want to figure that out on my own. And don't you understand? I'm not the only one who gets to choose their own destiny now. We all do. Even you. But I don't want to choose a new destiny. I liked the one I had. And because of you, it might not happen. But it might. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just don't know. You're still here! No, poof! 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 Yay! I know! It feels good! Life between the Royals and the Rebels at Ever After High <laughs> would never be the same after Raven stood up for what she believed. What she believed was wrong. She didn't honor her destiny, she tempted fate. Listen, narrators! We are trying to have a nice moment here! <laughs> Raven does not know the forces she has released. This must be contained before her dangerous idea spreads. <laughs> they told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different ending. Sometimes